So, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning to our today's distinguished expert. So, it's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Pavel Musharek, if I pronounce the name correctly in Polish. Correctly. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, he's a member of board at the Agelonian Club and director of the analytical center at the same institution. And today we have this uh, seminar supported by the International Visegrad Fund on uh, renewable energy sector development. And uh, now I will not take much time, so I would like to invite our expert to start with a presentation. All right, so uh, give me a second. Okay, could you uh, tell me is uh, the presentation is visible? Yes, it's uh, not in the slide mode yet, but it's visible. Okay, uh, now it's better? Yes, it's slide mode now, yes. All right, so uh, could you remind me how much time uh, should I sacrifice for a strictly presentation without uh, questions? Uh, so, you, as much as you need, but... Uh, All right. There is no strict limit uh, there. We the short comments and a few questions maybe, but you may right. take. Uh, so I propose to start with the showing the um, place of Poland in the European Union. You can see on the um, uh, presentation that the uh, share of uh, energy from renewable sources in Poland is quite low if you compare it with the uh, other European Union countries. Uh, what is important on this presentation, you see not only the, uh, the, the share of the uh, renewables in Poland, but uh, as well, uh, you see the, uh, the uh, 2020 target. This target is very important because this is the EU target come from European directives, and um, uh, you can see that Poland is quite far from reaching this target. And now it is uh, discussed um, uh, in Poland why uh, the pace of the developing is so slow. Many experts criticize it because uh, European Union can uh, uh, can in 2022 and will estimate the whole system uh, give some. Uh, punishment for Poland for not reaching this uh, this target. So this is a, a problem which uh, is discussed in um, Polish expert circles. Uh, what is important uh, if you look on the role of the renewables in Poland in the last decade, you see that the, um, the pace of development was not very high. Um, sorry for Polish uh, language because uh, I um, found this uh, information just uh, two days ago, and uh, but I will translate it. Uh, it showed the, uh, the the role of renewables, and in the, the gray lines is the transport. The red line is a um, energy uh, is a, is, a, is energy. The uh, the blue one is a heating. And uh, the um, yellow, the yeah, yellow is a is a general one. So, if you what the consequence of that, you see that in uh, electric system the uh, renewables is growing, but the pace is not very high. Uh, the, the real problem is uh, to with the transport, and I think that uh, this is the problem of many countries in the European Union. I mean. The, the pace of electric cars and buses, maybe not buses, buses is, is developing in Poland quite good, but the electric cars is, is very limited, is still very, uh, still very, of course, expensive. And that's, this is the, uh, the barrier to uh, stop, uh, to, to develop uh, this sector. So, um, but in the transport, there's this gray line is quite, uh, misleading because in uh, 2015 you see that the, the pace is even uh, slowing down but uh, this is the effect of changes of our uh, tax system and uh, this tax system 
before didn't um, show the cool uh, salt of the oil in Poland. It, there was many uh, oil uh, mafias which uh, sell this uh, uh, this fuel without any uh, taxes. And after our government um, interrupt, interrupted this process, suddenly in statistic uh, you see a lot of uh, the, the, the growing uh, selling of oil. And that's why you see that the role of renewables in this, um, uh, this statistic is, is slowing down. But uh, it is on the same level um, since the, the previous decade. What is important, if you look on the heating system, this is, uh, this, this is the problem because we see a very small pace, uh, this is a very small uh, uh, growing and uh, now this is a problem because many heating uh, plants uh, has a financial problem because they are based on coal and now they are, have to be modernized. And uh, this modernization is a, is a chance for, for renewables, but the main uh, discussion is about uh, um, changing the coal heating system into the gas one uh, rather than renewables. Okay, so if you look on the installed capacity in the Polish system, you see that uh, the still the, a lot of um, um, capacity is, uh, is a hard coal. Uh, is a is a lignite. Uh, this is the, Poland is a uh, is a very special country in the European Union because uh, if you look on installed capacity in hard coal and lignite, we are probably on the first place in the European Union. That's why Poland is so uh, specific, and that's why Poland uh, is uh, sometimes um, uh, estimated by other country as a as the one who, uh, who harmed the uh, climate policy of the European Union. And this is the answer why, because our uh, capacity system is uh, strongly based on the coal. And if I uh, uh, present you uh, the same initial capacity in Polish system uh, 20 years ago, uh, the domination of coal was absolutely completely. It was more than 90% uh, uh, power plant was, was coal and lignite. So uh, the small number of the, of the uh, pumped storage, very small, small number of the natural gas, uh, very small number of the renewables. So, uh, so it shows that uh, renewables in, a, uh, if you look on the installed capacity, uh, play a not a big role, it's only 20%. And if you look on the division, uh, the domination of uh, onshore wind um, uh, and uh, uh, in the last year i will uh, uh, share something more about it photovoltaics will uh, developing very uh, very fast and in the last year uh, the, the pace was really um, very good so if you look on electricity production you see that uh, is quite similar to the, of course, capacity. Uh, one important changes is that uh, if you look on the natural gas, uh, electricity production is bigger uh, by percentage if you compare production with the capacity. And the conclusion is very obvious. Uh, natural gas now, in, even in Poland, is more competitive than Coal. So that's why uh, coal plants has a financial problems because they are installed and not everyone work uh, for the cool time. Uh, um, very often gas uh, plants uh, are on a, uh, a better position to, to produce. Uh, so this is a problem for the energy companies which, uh, uh, which uh, underline that uh, they have financial problems. And that's why our government uh, four years ago introduced uh, a new uh, a product in the energy system, uh, capacity market. Uh, so this is special money for the uh, energy companies, uh, which has uh, coal plants. Uh, and this cash is for uh, not for production, but for uh, availability uh, to be in a system in order to uh, to be uh, turned on 
when the system needs these uh, additional sources and is turned off when it's uh, when it don't need. Uh, this um, special um, system was criticized by many experts uh, because they underline that this system is a special money for the coal industry because they are don't have uh, enough money to, to develop and uh, and this is extra money which uh, was discussed with the European Union because it's a, it's a special state aid for the companies and experts uh, but the European Union agreed for that uh, uh, Polish government underlined that this um, coal plants are needed even if we are planning develop uh, of renewables because renewables of course have to uh, um, cooperate with the uh, backup system and this package system is uh, this coal uh, power plant which uh, work for only a few percentage of the uh, whole time and uh, this is not enough time to to finance itself so that's why we need to uh, to pay for availability so uh, if you look on the last years, sorry for Polish, but I will translate. Uh, if you look on the Polish, the uh, uh, sources of the electricity, 70% is a steel coal uh, plus lignite, 10% is the gas, 18% uh, is uh, renewables. Um, and uh, what is important, so it is a changing with, within uh, last year. Of course, it was a special year because we know that uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, limited uh, demand for energy. Um, but if you look on uh, this tape, uh, this uh, presentation, this demand uh, is very was very high because uh, it was uh, only two percent slower than last year. So it was quite interesting. Uh, but production uh, was slowing down by. 4%, uh, the, the rest was important and Poland uh, imported uh, um, uh, many and many uh, energy from the abroad because it's cheaper. And so what is important uh, in the last year, uh, if you look on the, um, uh, if you look on the production, uh, coal and lignite was, uh, was fallen seven, uh, um, seven, more than 7%. Uh, coal and lignite more than 3.4%. Uh, uh, so summing up, more than 10% is, a, is a slowing down. So this is the trend which uh, in Polish energy system started a few years ago and will be continue in the next year because the economy uh, and the high, uh, uh, high cost of the coal uh, production uh, has consequences as you see on the on the presentation and gas was uh, more than uh, two percent and renewables uh, plus three percent so uh, you see that the production is growing but the pace is uh, uh, of renewables is not um, uh, the perfect one so if you look on the Polish uh, energy in the last uh, 30 years so after transformation, after you know, finishing the communism time, uh, we can, we can um, tell that we have four periods of time uh, by means of renewables development. And the first one before 2009, that's a period of time which is completely dominated by the coal um, coal production was the, the, the only option and there was no need to install uh, other uh, resources because Pol uh, Poland um, uh, during the transformation closed a lot of industries, uh, the heavy one, uh, not uh, efficient by means of energy and demand for energy was uh, slowing down very fast but the capacity was still the same. So. Uh, so for the long time after 1989, Poland don't need to build a new capacity because we have a lot of uh, capacity installed during the communism time, which can, which, which was active after that. Now we have a problem because this capacity is older and older and they have to be shut down. 
um, and uh, just why we are now discussing about the different sources. And the second time, fast development of the renewables, um, uh, 2010, 2050. Uh, this uh, data 2009 was very important because this is a time when the European Union introduced a directive with, with uh, which I mentioned before. And this directive expected from Poland to, uh, to reach 15% uh, of the total uh, renewables consumption in the in energy mix. So, uh, so this, is, uh, this, this expectation um, has the consequences in the Polish energy law. Uh, Polish government introduced a special uh, system for uh, renewables in order to fasten the, uh, the pace. It was a time when uh, renewables was quite expensive, so that's the, so the uh, special support system was needed, and in what it was introduced, and the and uh, the, the final. Um, I will maybe uh, look back on uh, to showing you the pace. If you look on the 2010 and 2050, you see that in an uh, electricity uh, system, uh, the the role of the renewables is growing. Maybe in other uh, in other um, sectors uh, was on the same the same uh, uh, level, but uh, in energy system was quite was developing quite good. And it is the role of uh, wind energy mainly. A lot of wind uh, plants was installed in Poland, and uh, in 2015 we have a very important uh, event because our authority office, uh, which is a national control office, uh, public uh, documents that showing that many. Uh, wind wind plants installed in Poland was kind of illegal because a lot of uh, authorities in the small cities installed um, uh, uh, giving the permission to install this capacity uh, in order for you know um, um, some kind of uh, money. So uh, it was a discussion in Poland about the system, and so many uh, and the government was highly criticized by the opposition. That time, the, uh, our country government was uh, constructed by a civic platform and PSL, the, the small uh, um, small party, which uh, was very strongly uh, in this process. Uh, and opposition, which in that time was the Law and Justice Party, uh, underlined that we should uh, stop this process. And in 2015, uh, not a uh, long time after the publication of uh, national authority uh, about the, uh, this uh, development of the wind energy, Law and Justice Party uh, won the election. And uh, this is the time when Law and Justice Party underlined that the wind energy uh, should be limited on land and we can uh, develop it only offshore. But of course, if we don't have uh, that time ex, uh, any experience. So the you know the whole preparation for the um, uh, for the installation of that kind of that kind of wind uh, capacity will take uh, many many years. So many experts criticize it because they underline that wind uh, on land was the cheapest renewable uh, energy sources. Which is, the, which is now developed in Poland and could be scaled up in a very short time. And it, this is the easiest way to fulfill the EU uh, expectation. But uh, this uh, voices was not uh, uh, accepted by the government and government in 2016 introduced a special law where, which harmed the um, uh, wind energy on land. This is the uh, this regulation is based on the uh, based on the um, assumption that if you want to build a wind plant uh, on land, uh, you have to fulfill a very long distance uh, between this uh, wind uh, plant and the uh, nearest houses. So the um, this distance was so 
um, so wide that many ex experts underline that uh, uh, the final consequences of this regulation is that uh, in Poland not many areas is destined for this uh, um, this uh, potential new uh, investments. Uh, Law and Justice Party know that, but uh, don't change the decision. Um, this topic is uh, regularly come back to the public uh, discussion, was um, uh, highly criticized by the ecology circles and many other people who want to fasten the natural transformation in Poland, they underline that it was very a uh, wrong decision. And um, in the last uh, three years, uh, there was uh, some voices from the government that maybe decision about this uh, law will be changed, uh, we will see, we will discuss. So we see that uh, the pressure from the expert circles um, and consequences showing that the government maybe changed the decision in the nearest time, uh, especially, especially the uh, high pressure is from the European Commission because uh, uh, EU institutions show that Poland didn't fulfill the expectation. So uh, uh, this is very important because of uh, potential of any any punishment. So that's why government maybe uh, in the, maybe this year changed the, the decision. We will see. Uh, so uh, the whole period of time when Law and Justice Party rule in Poland. Uh, so since 2050, I um, uh, I put the the name stagnation. Uh, because Law and Justice Party uh, was uh, at the beginning very criticized on climate policy and underlined that coal is very, uh, uh, is a give Poland energy sovereignty because this is our coal and we don't need to import that. And it was criticized toward, uh, maybe not criticized toward renewables, but, um, but uh, see renewables as uh, something which is developed by the foreign companies. And this is very important because in the economic uh, doctrine uh, by our government, we should um, uh, develop the uh, energy sources, which the whole value chain is in Poland. So that's why uh, Law and Justice Party strongly support Polish energy uh, companies. Uh, Polish energy system is dominated by the four um, uh, companies, which is uh, state state uh, controlled, and this is very specific situation in the European Union. In a, uh, you don't have anyone the big energy companies like Eon, like you know uh, other other companies from the Western countries in Poland. Uh, because everybody know that the Polish government support in a very different way the Polish company, so it's no, no, uh, no business to invest in Poland. Um, and I underline the uh, 2019 as a restart point because uh, in 2019, maybe one one year before the uh, was started. Uh, the big program, uh, photovoltaic, uh, small photovoltaic, micro photovoltaic on the houses in a, was installed in a very fast pace. It was the effect of the government special program, which gives you more than 1000 euro uh, extra money if you plan to install in your houses as kind of installation. And uh, it was uh, and this was very popular. And now uh, the the last two years and the, probably this year and another, uh, the Poland was uh, the, the fastest uh, photovoltaic development uh, uh, in the European Union country. Uh, I mean, uh, the the pace was so so big that uh, uh, because many for many people uh, the growing uh, energy prices uh, showing that installation on that uh, photovoltaic system in on the houses is a very good uh, solution for um, for uh, saving money and uh, this uh, money from the government 1000 euro uh, in the consequences uh, 
limited the period of time to uh, to the whole investment will uh, will give you uh, uh, I'll give you I know how to say uh, many back yeah in uh, without this program you have to wait seven or eight years in order the amount of money which you pay for the whole, the whole installation will be back in your energy bills. Now the program uh, uh, shortages from seven years to, to five years. So uh, if you install photovoltaic in your houses in five years, uh, the amount of money uh, will be uh, uh, additional. Uh, so it is quite interesting solution. So why is so the pace of the uh, renewables um, development in Poland are so slow? The answer is very simple. The answer is coal. Poland has, uh, for the long time, has coal-based and uh, has a long tradition. In started many many years ago, uh, even before you know First World War, uh, before Second World War, the coal industry in Poland was <coughs> very strong. And uh, what is important after Second World War, coal industry was the most important. Why? Because we export it and we received a real money. Uh, so in the communist time was important. And that's and this is maybe seems to be very historic uh, approach, but uh, th this uh, time uh, coal industry in the Polish society seems to be a very, uh, very important, very, very special and uh, something which uh, we have to take care about. And that's why people uh, now, especially the older one, is uh, uh, very strict to this opinion, which was uh, maybe 50 years ago uh, actual, but now it's not. But, uh, you know, the, the, the role of the coal for the Silesian region, which is politically important because it's a big one, is a, is a, is a region where, uh, where politicians compete each other because it's a kind of um, uh, equal by means of influence, liberals one, conservatives one. So not many politicians, you know, want to go to the Silesian re region and declare that Okay, we have to close down the coal plants, and um, we have to finish with the with the mining because we have to develop renewables. That kind of declaration is a is a is a finish for many politicians in the Silesian region. So this is very important aspect which we have to take into account. And the political role of the the, the work union uh, very strong, well well organized, which. Uh, uh, block the whole, uh, block the whole reforms, and the question is, of course, uh, why uh, I see the coal as a very as a, the most important barriers to develop renewables. Not the answer is is very simple. The most uh, renewables are installed. The most production from the renewables are are done. Uh, the the less energy is produced from the from the coal, and um, and if you uh, don't have a demand for coal in the uh, energy plants, you uh, don't uh, have a you know a market for the coal from the Polish mining, and that's why uh, this is very politically important problems because. Uh, uh, a lot of Polish people work still in the mining. It's, it's uh, about 80,000 people directly, but uh, uh, but indirectly even more. Mm, so uh, this is the, the problem which uh, in the history very harmed the uh, development of the renewables. But I think that uh, the changing um, uh, the changing uh, economic uh, circumstances will, will change it, but I will uh, tell more about it in a minute. And uh, how how we support the renewable system, 2005-2050 uh, uh, trendable green certificate system. So each um, energy company which produce energy have to show that uh, they produce some part of the energy from uh, is, is a green one. 
and uh, the uh, percentage of the green ones, uh, green production was defined by the you know energy authorities. And this is the, this is the, um, de de uh, destined to uh, achieve the 2020 target. And uh, since 2050, we started with the auction system, and it worked quite well. And it's uh, the cheap one. Uh, we discussed in Poland about the another one, but th this is uh, uh, this was chosen and now works quite good. Last year was eight times was the auction system um, uh, started, and this auction system is uh, divided into a uh, few fillers. So, uh, uh, for example, because the Polish authority wants to have a diversified uh, renewables uh, sources. And the one field as you have uh, white uh, auctions, white energy auctions. The second is a photovoltaic. The other one is a biomass, uh, bio, biogas. And uh, the cheapest prices is uh, achieved in, of course, in the white uh, um, energy. And after that photovoltaic, the other, so these two sources play an important role in Poland and will play even more. The other one is quite limited and because it's still very, uh, very um, expensive. I don't uh, have a, a slide with the prices, but uh, very important information is that in the last three years, if you look on the average uh, um, yearly prices during the auction, you see that these prices is, is, low, is lowing and lowing. Uh, and, and it's of course uh, consequences of that technology of wind energy and technology of photovoltaics is getting cheaper and cheaper. And that's why uh, Polish government um, uh, can uh, pay for this energy less and less. So uh, of course in auction system, Polish government uh, wants to, uh, want to contract uh, only as many renewables energy as it is needed in a, uh, in a, uh, our target 2020 uh, uh, but in the last in the last years uh, even the the level of um, of contract was even lower so it was criticized because probably <clears throat> we don't receive a 2020 target so so this auction system play an important role. Uh, it's uh, something which, uh, which is, I think, uh, a better solution uh, than, for example, feeding tariffs, which uh, in Germany, of course, uh, um, play an important role uh, by means of flourishing of renewables, but it's very expensive for people. Uh, auction system is better because the, uh, the company, which is the cheapest, uh, uh, installed the capacity, not everyone for the guarantee prices. So what the main trend in the Polish energy system, you see that the, uh, the biggest decrease being seen in the production from lignite and hard coal. Mm. What is important, um, we, uh, the, uh, in the last year, we see that the Prices of allowance uh, for um, gas greenhouses uh, was uh, exploding, and now uh, from five euro to thirty-five euro within the very short time, it was so mu multiplied the, the the prices, and of course the consequences of, of the very high price of the allowances for the uh, greenhouses emission is that. Polish uh, coal plants uh, pay a lot of money for that, and that's why the competitiveness of that is, is lower and lower. So now, if you want to look on the Polish energy system strictly uh, by the market uh, paradigm, you see that very limited coal plants in Poland can pay for the zone. I mean, without any support, um, uh, you know, cost of production of energy is much uh, higher than the prices in Polish energy, um, uh, Polish energy market. 
So uh, this is, of course, the problem and the consequences of that would be a uh, very fast uh, pace of uh, shutting down the following coal, um, coal plants. And I think that our government know this process and everybody knows this process, but in, in official energy document, you see that this pace was quite limited. Why? Because nobody wants to uh, showing the work, uh, you know, coal work union, the, the real situation, because of course, it could um, uh, finish in protests and uh, political uh, tensions. So um, what is important uh, in the last uh, month, Polish government introduced a new document, uh, Polish policy, uh, sorry, energy policy of Poland should be uh, until 2040. And if you look on the a target for 2030 and 2040, you see that uh, our government expect the uh, developing of renewables, of gas, and declining of, of um, of coal, but important is not the uh, is not the trend because uh, they are obviously. But important is the pace, and many experts criticize government that the pace of uh, decarbonization of Polish energy is very slow, and the real economy, uh, in consequence, um, uh, fasten the uh, decarbonization because it's getting higher, and uh, because it's, it's a uh, uh, coaster and coaster, and of course we shouldn't uh, forget that uh, the cost for Polish uh, uh, coal plants is not only allowance for the CO2, not only a uh, high uh, price of coal from the Polish mining, that's important and I didn't mention it before, but the Polish mining is not competitive with the, with the coal from Russia, from Colombia, from other country so this is a very you know very stupid situation because uh, Polish uh, energy company have to keep the coal actives uh, coal uh, uh, invest coal investment because uh, politically government pressure it to, to keep the uh, um, uh, employment in uh, mining uh, industry on a high level uh, but they have to, you, you know, have to pay for the CO2 emission a big money and have to pay for the Polish coal, which is very, very expensive. So, that the, so, you know, economically, it's obviously that this system cannot work for the long time. And now, uh, uh, 2025 20, is a very important date because uh, that time European Union uh, um, showing that we have to finish our capacity market for the installation from coal. So now the, these coal uh, plants receive the money because of uh, availability, which I mentioned before, but this system could work only till 2025. After that time, they cannot receive any public aid. And uh, I expect that uh, in the five years, uh, these coal uh, plants will, uh, many uh, coal plants will finish finishing in a very, very fast pace. And the real development of the renewables start uh, since 2025. What's more, uh, 2025 is an is important date because of the second issue. This is the time of uh, starting production from the energy wind offshore. Last year, uh, uh, the um, special allow, allowing uh, to install, uh, not only allowing install, but the general regulated the, the whole system. Uh, the, the special law was introduced in our parliament, and this is a very important law, which gives uh, uh, investors um, uh, um, some guarantee that this uh, investment uh, would be uh, legal and uh, and the, the many aspect was uh, was many problems was solved 
And now we are in the time of preparing this in investment, which is start this year and, and the next year maybe. And probably uh, 2025, it was the first year that uh, energy from the offshore on the uh, Baltic Sea started and it play a quite uh, big role in a, in a, in a system. And uh, at the, um, uh, in the end of our presentation, I want to underline one aspect which is very rarely discussed uh, in energy experts. And for me, I think that's a very, uh, it's a very bad. I want to show you the Polish political situation uh, related to the energy, because I think that it's not only uh, important for Poland, but I think it, it uh, uh, show the problems, which I think will be very visible in many other countries. So our government now uh, is a, a government which is uh, consists of Law and Justice Party, the biggest one, and the two small political parties, the Agreement and the United Poland. And so what is important? Uh, Law and Justice Party is a, is a party very pro-social, uh, pro-traditional, conservative, uh, which, uh, you know, was far, uh, far wing. And that's why they criticize uh, um, uh, climate policy of the EU as a too strict uh, to uh, you know and and be uh, driven by the some ideology not only economy because European Union uh, uh, put a very ambitious uh, aim but the rest of the world not so the effect of the EU policy is on the export of the emission not not uh, limited emission in, in the world as a whole. So the Industries Party for the many long time was a party who, who criticized that, but we should remember that this system was criticized by the other party because uh, nobody wants to impose um, limited uh, employment uh, in a uh, mining system. But in the last year, uh, there are some changes. And if you look on the, the small, uh, party agreement, they agreed for the faster transformation and the part of the law and justice uh, party government support the solution and uh, Prime Minister Morawiecki and Minister of Climate and Environment Michał Kurtyka support this faster transformation, but the older politicians uh, are more pro coal and uh, what is important, the United Poland, the smallest party, uh, see that um, when Law and Justice Party, uh, driven by the Morawiecki, uh, go to the more pro-transformation position, a lot of people who work in this industry don't have their own political representation. So for United Poland is a special occasion to showing that they are the real defenders of Polish uh, coal. And uh, of course, when they started to uh, to realize this political strategy, Law and Justice Party have to answer and uh, they don't want to, um, you know, uh, transfer the uh, electorate from the peace from the Law and Justice Party to United Poland. And that's why many politicians in Law and Justice Party underline that even if this transformation is needed, politically is very uh, impossible because we uh, cannot give the United Poland our our people, uh, so that's why we have to we have to share some some sceptic uh, uh, you know stance toward climate policy. So, so this political aspect is very important because even if economy pushing your energy system toward more uh, um, toward faster changes, uh, political situation is that these changes is not work as uh, fast as uh, possible. But uh, I think that uh, the, uh, this is my last slide. I think that the pace of the real changes will be faster uh, than in official document because you know, the pressure from the, from the people in Poland because uh, you know, uh, a lot of people see that the climate is changing and they are sensitive to EU narration um, more and more, especially young people are very pro-climate and anti-coal and anti-conservative. So 
So these circumstances, social ones and economic ones, uh, uh, showing that I think in the near future in Poland uh, we will have less coal, more renewables, much more renewables, and much more gas, uh, which will uh, replace coal. And the gas is a good uh, sources, as we know, uh, to cooperate with the renewables better than coal one because it's very elastic. Uh, what is important to Poland in the last 20 years, uh, they diversify the, the source of gas, so we are not, uh, not dependent uh, from the Russia. Now we can buy uh, gas from the uh, global market, from the US, and we develop our infrastructure. So we, have, uh, we are quite, quite secure. So that's why gas, uh, since the first time, uh, since the last 30 years, is uh, uh, discussed as a uh, serious, uh, serious uh, energy sources, which can replace coal. And so I think that this, this duet, this duo, renewables with gas will, uh, will be the uh, option uh, which will growing very fast. And I don't really mm, believe in the nuclear energy in Poland because, uh, because of the cost, because of the technological issue, because of the complex investment. And uh, uh, besides the fact that nuclear energy is put in our official document, I think that it will not happen. And that's why the pace of the renewables and pace of gas uh, will be even faster because we will have to in, uh, install a, a, you know, a limited uh, solution which will uh, help decarbonize our energy system and, and economy as a whole. So this was the, the last one. So if you have any question, I am open to, for discussion and thanks for, uh, thanks for a chance to showing how the situation looked like in, in Poland. Uh, thank you very much indeed. So uh, I have a question. You mentioned that there is a, about a thousand euros, euro subsidy for households installing mm -hmm. solar energy. So is that how the renewables are used in heating or is there also a share of biomass or geothermal um, the, no, this, uh, our government uh, Instead, yeah, no, the, the option was only about the photovoltaic, uh, but our government now is uh, very uh, is more and more open for general pro um, uh, for micro installation, and we're now this uh, there's a discussion to um, to enlarge this program which which was dedicated to photovoltaic. Uh, enlarged to um, other sources of energy in the houses, like a small energy energy magazines and uh, um, special pump, which is quite expensive, but in uh, you know some years uh, give you uh, financial benefits. So, so now we have this discussion about that, but uh, the, the, there are no final decision. But the problem, of course, is that uh, the most people uh, in houses uh, use that kind of installation. Uh, you, the, 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 this is the, the fastest pace of, um, uh, once again, if you uh, installed uh, many installations like uh, we did in houses, the, uh, there is a problem for the big energy companies of the a big scale energy because they uh, don't have a client. So um, there are a kind of pressure from the big companies that we have limited micro energy installation uh, because uh, the cost of, um, this is the main argument against the micro installation, that uh, the cost of the um, our um, infrastructure is, uh, is growing because if you have the same cost of, of uh, keeping the infrastructure, but you have less and less clients, so the, you have to pay uh, uh, more and more uh, per one person. And if one person pay more and more 
uh, money in your energy bill for the energy infrastructure, so the pressure for installed uh, the micro installation in your house and be uh, you know not uh, dependent from the big energy companies is is uh, is getting um, higher and higher. So this is a uh, you know phenomena which is a process which is very dangerous for the big energy companies. Um, so that's why the, the, the discussion is that um, so far we need some photovoltaic because we don't have at all. So that's why government agreed to, to push some money for that. And probably we'll continue that because uh, it was very, uh, is it quite cheap uh, if you compare the effect of that. Uh, uh, in, within one year, there was a capacity of one gigawatt, so sorry, four gigawatts. So it is a capacity uh, compa um, compared with the building a two big uh, coal plants. So it, it was quite a big number. And um, yeah, but I think that uh, I cannot answer the question what would be the uh, uh, government proposition for this year or next year? Because this discussion about how large should be this uh, this special program uh, is not finished. And uh, how about small hydropower plants? Uh, is there any favorable regulation, or what's the situation with it? Uh, could you or are they not popular? Uh, could you uh, sorry repeat what kind of uh, installation you mean? Uh, small hydropower plants. Oh, not, not, uh, not, it's not popular at all at, at the moment. I think that uh, when I discussed with the expert, uh, everybody agreed that the future of Polish renewable system is, uh, uh, is uh, of course, uh, photovoltaic and wide because, you know, the price of these two technologies is getting lower. Uh, of course, we have some, uh, we have some, um, capacity uh, uh, using the, the, the water energy, uh, but the potential for development of that is very limited. So the amount of, you know, the, the, the installed capacity in the water is on the same level since many, many years. So I don't expect any change, changes. And if you ask about the geothermal situation, we have some places in Poland when geothermal is developed. But in a, you know, if you look at the scale of that, is uh, it has a meaning, but only on the local uh, local areas. So uh, I don't expect that geothermal uh, geothermal sources will play an important role. Thank you. Okay, thank you, and some of our participants uh, might uh, discuss this later, so I'll send the video as well. And uh, uh, the LPG terminal has been installed already, so is it operational now? Sorry, once again, could you, could you repeat? LPG terminal, the liquefied gas, is, is it already operational and what's the interconnectivity with the island in Croatia? Uh, yeah, LNG uh, is uh, getting more and more popular in Poland uh, because we have, uh, you know, the, the terminal built in Świnoujście, uh, which was uh, very, uh, very important because uh, it is not only uh, not only give you uh, some sovereignty and not dependent from the Russia, but as I mentioned before, mm, nobody expected uh, five years ago that Poland will need much more gas than they expected because uh, the pace of replacing gas for coal, uh, it's, it's important uh, issue at the moment. So. Um, and the LNG now uh, work uh, uh, very, very good and it will be enlarged in the in in newest future because of the demand. 
and what what else uh, it will be uh, developed it, it, the, the new one will be built on the Gdańsk as well so uh, uh, there will be additional uh, additional uh, uh, sources of, of gas and now we are at the beginning of the building a Baltic pipe which is uh, uh, which connect Norway gas with the, with the Poland and we are building a connection with the Slovakia and uh, if you ask me I, I, I'm not sure I properly understand your question but if you ask about the uh, our transfer gas in the, our uh, region in Europe uh, till the Croatia to the, the LNG in the Croatia uh, this whole infrastructure will be finished in, uh, in a few years so I expected that this uh, shouldn't be uh, stopped because of the demand for gas in our in our region should be higher than expected be because of the uh, decarbonization process, not only in Poland. Um, so important the data uh, is uh, 2022 because this is the time when Poland finished the contract with the Gazprom, and we will have a um, capacity to, to contract the new gas from the other direction and Poland has the aspiration to, to have a, a hub, a gas hub in for our region. Uh, but of course we will compete with the Germany which has uh, gas from the Nord Stream and Nord Stream 2 in the in a, in a next year will be uh, finished this this gas pipeline I expected. So, um, so yeah, that's the situation. Uh, thank you. So, uh, as I said, we have a few participants today because there is uh, some internal developments here. So, uh, thank you again for the presentation. If we have no questions from the audience, we might finish earlier. But, uh, uh, we will. Uh, I have made the video recording, so we'll share with some experts, also with our associated expert who is going to prepare a policy paper on this topic. And if possible, I would like you to send uh, the presentation file as well. And uh, we'll still in touch, I'm sure, about this topic and uh, maybe uh, we can cooperate in the future with your institution regarding the other spheres of analysis you are involved in. Thanks very much for the invitation for this project, uh, for, for uh, opportunity to, to show the, our my perspective on this uh, sector in Poland and if you expect me in the future to, 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 to add something to this presentation, of course I am open. So. Uh, we'll keep in touch. Um, thank you very much. Once again. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye.